loving pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved Lord, Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba Varu. Today, it is a great blessing to all of us to once again assemble to partake the nectarine message on the eighth Anuvaka of Sri Rudra Dhyaya in the form of Gama Agama lecture series 46 on Vedas, the very foundation of Indian culture and spirituality. This divine satsang is being organized by Sri Satya Sai Samyukta Suti Sreni of Sri Satya Sai Seva Organization India. We are indeed very fortunate to have with us Professor Dr. Sudarsana Sarmagaru to continue to lecture on Rudra Dhyaya. Now, I humbly request Professor Dr. Sarmagaru to take over. Sai Ram. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Om Namah Shai Swaraya My humble pranams at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri 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 Satya Sai Baba Ji My sincere thanks to the organizers of this program and my greetings to the audience Friends Today, we are going to discuss about the 8th Anuvaka of Rudra Jaya, which is very popular, which starts with Namasomaya. So, now let us begin. Om Sri Guru Bhjona Mahari Om. Namaso Maya Charutraya Chanamas Tamraya Charunaya Chanamas Shangaya Chapasupataya Chanama Ugraya Chabhimaya Chanamo Ugre Vadaya Chadure Vadaya Chah Namo Hantre Chahani Yase Chanamo Ukshe Cho Harike Cho Namas Taraya Namas Shambhave Chamayo Bhave Chah Namas Shankaraya Chamayas Karaya Chanamas Shivaya Chasavataraya Chah Namastir Chaya Chakuyaya Chakama Pariyaya Chavariyaya Chakama Prataranaya Chottaranaya Chakama Atariyaya Chalatyaya Chakama Shashpyaya Chakhenyaya Chakama Sikatyaya Chapravahyaya Chakama Thus, this Anuvaka contains 17 mantras. This is Namaswamayacha Anuvaka is a bunch of 17 
great mantras now let us uh, examine one by one the first mantra is namasomaya cha rudraya cha soma soma means uh, the moon soma chandra uh, he is uh, a part of decoration on his head chandra shekhar it is the general meaning soma means chandra chandra is on his head the moon is on his head and there is no difference between the moon and shiva or rudra who bears him. both are same both are the manifestations of rudra namasso mayacha actually the sages who have interpreted this mantra have enlightened us with a different kind of interpretation somah umaya sah vartata iti somah the deity who is along with uma uma parvati somah sa uma the deity with uma is called somah here soma means parvati parameshwaro both somah not just rudra or shiva or nor not just parvati the combination of both is called soma O Soma, I salute you. Namas Soma, Yacha. That Shiva always lives with Uma. They are inseparables. Rudra is all powerful. Where from this power comes to him? It comes from Uma, Parvati. or shakti uma sahayam uma becomes the ally the friend the source of energy to shiva so he is called somah umaya sahitah soma namas somaya cha rudraya cha the word rudra has already been interpreted several times this is a combination of two different aspects rudra r rodana hetuhu rut means the reason of sorrow the reason of grief agony pain that is called rut tad rati that is caused by the deity he is called rut the deity who causes the weeping the crying the agony the pain all that he is called rut at the same time rut means rut rodana hetu the reason of you are weeping crying pain agony tad dravayati ti rudra these reasons of your grief pain agony etc will be demolished by ADT. He is called Rudra. So Rudra can make you cry 
and can make you laugh. He will give you happiness. He will. He can also put you to difficulties. That depends upon your own karma. Rudra gives the results of your karma. It is of two types and the interpretation of the word, the etymology of Rudra is of two types. Rudravayati iti Rudra, Rodayati iti Rudra. He can do both. O Rudra, I offer my Namaskar to you. Please protect me. Please dissolve all the reasons of my sorrow, grief, or pain, tears. Make me happy. Namasso Mahayacha Rudrayacha. The next mantra is Namastamrayacha Ranayacha. Tamra means the copper colored Urudra. Your color is that of a that of the copper, the metal copper. Namastamra yacha Aruna yacha. Your color is red. Tamra and Aruna. They are very near, but there is a difference. Tamra the reddishness of the rising sun, half risen sun, half of the sun is visible and half is yet to come up. At that time, it looks like the Surya Mandala looks like, the sun looks like a pure polished copper plate. That's why he is called Tamra Yacha. Oh Tamra, I perform Namaskar to please you and please don't cause any sorrow to me. Namastamra Yacha Aruna Yacha Aruna means red sun. After rising up fully, then he becomes red. So the rising sun and the sun after his rise, both are universal for Rudra. Even in the first Anuvaka of Rudrajaya, this reference comes. The visible sun is nothing but Rudra. The sun itself is Rudra. Namastamrayacha, that's why he is great. We cannot see the invisible Rudra. But we can see the visible Rudra in the form of sun. If you salute the rising sun, then Rudra is pleased. Because sun is just a manifestation of Rudra. At the end of this mantra, there is a syllable Cha. There is a letter Cha. This is also very significant. Vidyaranya and other sages have given a lengthy interpretation to this word, this, this, uh, this letter Cha. Of course, this is a word. This single letter Cha is a perfect, complete word. Also, Cha means also. Also means what? 
So now, two colors of sun have been discussed. The first is Tamra, which is uh, like uh, copper plate. The next one is red. The sun which has just risen. Then slowly that reddishness disappears and the bright uh, the bright white color comes out to the Surya Mandala. Cha means Babru. Babru means the color of a sheep or uh, the color of uh, wheat that is called Babru. So these three stages of sun are described here. If possible, you salute him when he is Tamra. If it is not possible, then you salute when he is Aruna. If that is also not possible, then you salute him whenever you like before he sets down. That is Babru. Namastamraya cha runaya cha Urudra I worship you in the visible form of the sun. Namastamraya cha runaya cha That is That is the second mantra which has got a lot of in, inner meanings. See, the invisible Rudra, we do not know what he does. But the visible Rudra in the form of a sun always takes care of us. He is visible. He comes daily. You need not go somewhere to pray the deity. He comes and awakens you. Come on, get up. He awakens you. He comes to your doorstep. So he is such a kind deity. He is there ready to give us boons, to give us food, to give us water through rains. He arranges our food and drink. And also, he takes care of our health. Due to the sun rays, we get vitamin D and other things that are very much useful, that are very much necessary for this body. So, he is our doctor, he is our physician. He, will, he is our medicine supplier. He is the supplier of our drink, food, what not, everything we get from sun only. And that sun is none other than Rudra. So, let us salute him. Namastamraya cha runaya cha. The next and the third mantra is Namashangaya cha pashupataye cha. Shangaha. Sham gamayati iti shangaha. Sham means happiness. Gamayati that is granted. Happiness is granted. The deity granting happiness is called Shanga. Sham Gamayati. Sham means happiness. That is given by him. That's why he is called Shanga. O Shanga, I offer my pranams to you. 
then Pashuvataye cha. Pashu means anything that is created is Pashu. Pashu is any kind of creature, animate and inanimate. Anything. Even the mountain is Pashu. And the man is also Pashu. Pashupata yecha. And he is the pati. Pati, the word has got two meanings. The protector and the controller. Rudra does both the actions. He protects us. He protects all the pashus. And he protect, he controls all the pashus. That's why he is called Pashupati. Rudra also does both the things. When he wants, he can tie down us. When he wants, he can set us free. Bandha and Moksha. He can tie down with the worldly bondages. And with Jnana and Vairagya, if he wants, he can liberate us to get the ultimate liber liberation. Namashangaya chapa shupata cha. Then the fourth mantra is Nama Ugraya cha bhima cha. Ugra and bhima. O Rudra, you are Ugra. I salute you. Ugraha. Ugraha means. Generally, we understand that an angry man, of course, he is angry towards those who do not care dharma, who perform adharmic actions against them. Rudra is Ugra, he is angry. Suppose, uh, the small boy, a school going by, steals away something from his classmate. When he comes home, the father punishes him. He is Ugra. Ugra to quell down, to put down other men. Like a father, he takes care of us. At that point of time, he looks Ugra. When the demons, they perform Adharma, through his avatars, he kills them. Then he is Ugra, the angry man, like the Narasimha. Ugra has got another meaning. If you refer to other Bhashyas, Anradra Jaya, you will find that some sages, some rishis, they have interpreted the word Ugra as Shreshtaha, Ugraha, Shreshtaha. Shreshtaha means the best man, the best deity, the best by all means. He is the best protector, he is the best controller, he is the best shooter, what not? Take anything. He is the best. He is the top. Nama Ugraya Cha. O Rudra, I salute you. Such Ugra. Nama Ugraya Cha. And then Bhimaya Cha. Here the word Bhima doesn't refer 
the brother of the one of the brothers of pandavas kuntiputra he is not referred here bhimaha bhimaha means who causes fear in the mind is called bhimaha darshana matrena virodhinam bhaya hetu adharmikanam bhaya hetu just on seeing him or at least on seeing the portrait the picture of rudra the demons and the devils they all flee away they run away they are, because they are afraid of ruth so such deity is called bhim who by appearance by his own appearance itself creates some fear in the minds of the opposition opposition means adharmic persons the bad elements the unruly elements so in their mind some fear is created just by looking at him such deity is called bhima and we also in our life come across such bhimas suppose there is a very senior ias officer if we enter into his chamber and we if we when we look at him some kind of fear is generated in the heart suppose there is a there is an honest ips officer on looking at him fear is generated in your mind and that fear prevents you from committing mistakes thereby he puts you on the right path he puts you on the path of righteousness by appearance and that deity is called rudra that deity is called bhima if you have this feeling on seeing anybody you must accept that there is rudra in him with the name bhima nama ugraya cha bhimaya cha so bhima prevents the people from doing unlawful things by creating fear complex in the mind and the fifth mantra is namo agre vadhaya cha dure vadhaya cha agre vadha dure vadha vadha means killing it is of two types agre vadha and dure vadha agre vadha means the first killer agre agre means it is the first it is the beginning we have to understand this like we have to understand the world like this agrevadha means the deity who kills first suppose there is a dema rakshas in his mind a desire occurs that ha let me kill rudra let me kill shiva some hiranyaksha hiranyakashipu or ravana or some maybe some other 
demon or devil when the idea enters into his mind then immediately rudra rudra comes and kills he will not give chance to his enemy to kill him he will never be killed and the enemy cannot have a chance to kill agre vadha prior to the enemy's acting rudra acts upon and kills him finishes him agre vadha yacha before the idea of harming or killing rudra enters into the mind of anyone rudra finishes him agre vadha yacha dure vadha yacha dure vadha dure vadha ichute dure vadha uh, distant killer so when suppose nowadays in the army we have infantry and they attack the enemy to kill also we have some snipers they will be at distant places maybe a kilometer or even more from that distance they will shoot the target dure vadha we stay somewhere at a distant place and kill someone in similar fashion rudra also can eradicate any object namo agre vadhaya cha dure vadhaya cha in drona parva of mahabharata Arjuna speaks to Krishna Sangrame shatravanikam sharir visrajannaham agrato lakshaye yantam purusham pavaka prabham jalantam shula mudyamya yandisham pratipadyate tasyan dishi visiryante shatravo me mahamate O oh Krishna, when I go into the battlefield, I see in front of me a a person, a deity, blissful deity, with a trident in his hand, going in front of me and killing my enemies. i'm just following him this type of experience occurred to me what is the meaning of it then krishna replies him yastute hyagrato yati yuddhe sampratyupasthite tam vidhirudram kaunteya tam vidhirudram kaunteya he kaunteya o partha arjuna that blissful deity running in front of you against the armies of the enemy is none other than rudra wherever there is death rudra precedes because rudra is the samharta pralaya karta so he is agre vadha he killed all the warriors of kaurava army before arjuna did 
अग्रे वध फर्स्ट ही किल्स देन अर्जुन किलड दो सो इयर डाउट में आकर भगवान कृष्णा सेट दट मय ही वही तो इन्हें होता मय ही वह दे आर ऑल किलड बाई मी हू सेस दिस कृष्णा सेस now in this context krishna is telling that they are all killed by rudra bhagavan never lies he will not speak with two tongues we should find a synthesis between these two contexts when he said maye vaite i killed them and when he said they were all killed by rudra the essence of both these statements is one and the same that there is no difference between rudra and krishna there is one paramatma there is one brahman nihatam tena vai purvam hatava nasi vai ripun you are killing only those bodies which have been already killed by rudra so the proper interpretation of agre vadhaya cha dure vadhaya cha is found in mahabharata we proceed to the sixth one namo hantre chahani yase cha hanta haneyas hanta means the killer namo hantre cha urdra you are the killer i salute you don't kill me haneyas cha there is slight difference haneyas means it also uh, gives the meaning of a killer both refer to the same substance with slight difference hanta means a killer who kills individually is one and he kills some other hani ese cha hani ese cha means hani ese means a collective killer he kills groups not an individual namo hantre cha o killer rudra i offer my pranams to you don't kill me also i offer my pranams to you because you are honey yes honey yes means collective killer the seventh mantra is namo vrikshe bhyo harikeshe bhya namo vrikshe bhyo harikeshe bhya actually harikesha and vriksha refer to the same thing they are not different vrikshe bhya vriksha means the tree or in any plant maybe it is a creeper bush or grass anything that pierces the earth and comes udbhija is called vriksha namo vrikshebhya how they are how they are trees and plants harikeshebhya the green haired the hair of which is green actually the hair of trees is the leaves and they are green in color that's why hari keshah hari means green hararang hari keshebhya vrikshebhya namaha 
O Rudra, you are provident in all the green trees and plants. Means, you are prevalent wherever there is vegetation, wherever there is greenery, you are there. I salute you. Namastaraya. Ha. This is the beauty of this mantra. In earlier mantras, and also in the mantras that precede this one, that follow this one, there are at least two words. In this mantra, Tara Yanamaha. In earlier mantra, Rukshayo Harikeshe Chestavo. Namasomaya Rudraya. Tamraya Arunaya. Thus we have two words. Here, Tara Yanamaha, Tara. Tara means the star. Normally we understand like that. It is not the actual meaning in this context. The meaning of Tara is Pranava or Omkara. Omkara Pranavastaraha. This reference comes in Vedas. So, mere knowledge of Sanskrit is not enough to interpret, is not sufficient to interpret Vedic passages. Vedic language is different. Vedic vocabulary is different, far different from Sanskrit language. Namastaraya. Tara means Omkara. From Omkara, this entire creation shaped out. And ultimately, this entire creation gets dissolved only in Omkara. That's why Omkara is Rudra. The entire creation comes from him and dissolves in him. So that's why he is Omkara, he is Rudra, he is Tara. Namastaraya. Pranavatmane Namaha. Omkara Rupaya Namaha. O Rudra, your form is the form of Omkara. We listen to you in the sound of Omkara. So, you are the cause of this creation. You are the ultimate destiny of the creation. So, I salute you. Namastaraya Namasham Bhavecha Mayo Bhavecha The ninth mantra is Namasham Bhavecha Mayo Bhavecha Sham Bhavaha Sham Sukham Bhavayati Utpadayati Iti Sham Bhavaha Sham Bhavaha means Who causes comfort Sham means Happiness, comfort. Shambhaveja Mayo Bhaveja Mayaha means comfort. It is caused by Rudra. So let us salute him. So, what is the difference between these two words? Shambhavecha Mayo Bhavecha. 
friends. Sham means the physical comfort. Mayaha means the mental comfort. Shambhavecha, sham, the worldly happiness, the physical comfort is created by him. Rather, Rudra is the creator of the physical comfort. So let us salute him. Because we need physical comfort. Mayo Bhavecha. We also do need mental comfort. Though there are so many facilities, if your mind is uncomfortable, then you cannot enjoy. So Mayo Bhavecha, mental comfort is also necessary. We have TV, freeze, AC, vehicle, everything. They are necessary for our physical comfort. And pray Rudra, he will grant them all. By that you will be physically happy. Your comforts are taken care. But you do not, if you do not have mental peace, then all the facilities all the paraphernalia, paraphernalia is a waste. Mayo bhavecha sham sukham utpadayeti te shambhava. The creator of physical comfort. Mayo bhavecha. He creates the mental peace, mental comforts. Mayaha Sukham Bhavayati. Where, where from it comes? It comes from your own mind. Mayaha, the mental peace or mental, com mental comfort, comes from your own mind. That depends upon your thoughts. Your thoughts are on dharmic lines on right lines, then you will have maya, the mental comfort. When you have mental comfort, then it doesn't matter whether there are physical comforts or not. A sage who is performing tapascharya in Kailas are in a forest. Does he have any any car, any sofa, or a foam bed? What does he have? Nothing. But still, he is very comfortable there. So comfort is more mental than physical. So if you raise the, to that level, you can gain the maya, the mental comfort. Till you attain such a stage, till you raise to that level, you need the physical comforts. So at lower level, physical comforts are necessary and for that, let us salute Shambhave. Let us salute the Shambhu. If you are elevated mentally, then you need the mental comfort and for that you pray Mayobhu. Shambhu gives you physical comfort and Mayobhu gives you Mental comfort. Namasham bhave cha mayo bhave cha. Namasham karaya cha mayas karaya cha. Shankara. Shankara. Mayas karaha. Mayas karaha. 
Karaha means the doer, the creator. Kara, one who does. Sham karoti iti shankara. Sham means physical comfort. That is created by Rudra. Shankara. That's why he is called Shankara. How? How creates? How he creates physical comfort? The father takes care of his child from infant level till the child grows up and becomes independent. And every comfort of the child is taken care by a parent. Pitradu rupe dalaukikam sukham karoti iti shankara. Then Shankara is who is Shankara? Our father is our Shankara. Our mother is our Shankara. They all made me comfortable. Shankarayacha. So, in the physical world, those who take care of your physical comforts is called Shankar. Let us bow to him. Mayaskarayacha. Mayaskarayacha. What is the ultimate objective of this life? This birth, getting liberation is the fourth Purushartha, the ultimate Purushartha. How it is obtained? We need some Jnana, Upanishadic Jnana, knowledge of Upanishads is necessary. To realize the reality of the world. How it comes? The knowledge comes through your Guru, Acharya. He makes you study the necessary scriptures. When you are unable to understand the passages, he will interpret, he will explain. Thus, he helps you to gain knowledge. Mayaha, Mayaha means the mental knowledge that is caused by the Guru or Acharya. Shankara. In the form of your parents, relatives, friends, and so on. He creates your physical comforts. And he sees that you are comfortably living your life. And that is not sufficient. That is not all. There is much more to achieve. The liberation should be achieved. For that purpose, he becomes Mayaskara. Mayaha Paramarthika Jnana. The spiritual knowledge is called Maya. And that is created by your Acharya or Guru. And he is Mayaskara. The creator of spiritual knowledge in your mind is called Mayaska. Rudra is both. He is the creator of your 
फिजिकल कंफर्ट एंड ही इज द क्रिएटर ऑफ युअर अल्टीमेट कंफर्ट अल्टीमेट एंड पेरेनियल कंफर्ट थ्रू माया स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज नम शिवाय शिवतराय च शिव शिव मीन प्यूर ब्लमिशल टोटली प्यूर निष्कमश शिव लालसो देर इज अनदर मीनिंग शुभ रूप सर्व शुभ एवरीथिंग इज गुड द गुडनेस इज कॉल्ड शिव प्यूरिटी एंड गुडनेस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ शिव एंड द फॉर्म ऑफ रुद्रा इज असे He is the purity. He is the goodness. So Namah Shiva ye cha, and then Shiva Tara ye cha. Shiva Tara means okay. He is pure, and he is good. That is not sufficient. Shiva Tara. this shiva or rudra can make you pure he can make others pure he can make others good shiva taraya cha shiva means he is himself good and pure shiva tara means he makes others pure and good Yes, that capacity also within him. So now, to, now let us uh, salute Rudra in the form of Shiva and Shivatara. Shivatara means who can make you pure and who can make you good. Let us pray. When a bad idea enters in your mind. then meditate upon the word shivatara 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 and bad thoughts will be uh, thrown off will be warded off and you will become pure namah shivaya cha shivatara ay cha then the 12th mantra is नमस्तीर्थ्याय च कूल्याय च तीर्थ्य तीर्थ्य मीन्स हु रिसाइड्स एट दी सेक्रेड प्लेसेस यू गो ऑन पिलग्रिमेज एंड विजिट सेवरल प्लेसेस दे आर कॉल्ड तीर्थस ही लिव्स इन देयर you go and approach there everybody is rudra you salute you offer something you receive their blessings this type of activity pleases rudra and he shows his blessings on you नमस्तीर्थ्याय चूल्याय चूले भव कूल्य कूला मीन द बैंक ऑफ ए रिवर देर आर सेवरल पायस रिवर्स लाइक गंगा एंड बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर रुद्र अब्जर्व इज पर and those who come there to take bath 
in the holy waters they are all rudras you treat them as rudras and behave accordingly when you go on a pilgrimage or when you go to take bath in holy rivers because rudra lives in there and the banks of sacred rivers namastirthyaya chakulyaya cha then the 13th mantra is nama paryaya cha varyaya cha paryaya avaryaya suppose a river flows it has two sides this side and that side far side paryaya cha on the other side and avaryaya cha this side on both sides there is rudra suppose this samsara this world this physical world is a river in this river we want to live in nama paryaya cha avaryaya cha parya means above the world on the other side on the other bank of the samsara sagara the world is ocean the world is a sea samsara is compared with a sagara or ocean sea on the other side of this ocean there is the paramatma untouched by the blemishes of the world the pure paramatma is paryaya cha pare on the other side on the other side of the world sea there is rudra you salute him nama paryaya cha and then avaryaya cha in this side also there is rudra this side means in the world side in the world itself there is rudra avare arvaktare sam shobhavanah samsare bhava he is in the samsara in the physical world he is also aloof outside of the world he is prevalent everywhere if you want spiritual comfort spiritual enlightenment then arya will help so you take refuge at the feet of rudra in the name parya yacha o parya you please give me spiritual knowledge and take me to your stage avarya yacha or if you want any physical desires getting progeny getting a good job getting health or this type of comforts if you need then avarya yacha you pray rudra in the form of avarya so rudra causes comfort to you so long you are in the world and even after you are leaving the world so he gives you comfort always take refuge at his feet nama paryaya cha parya who resides on the other side of the other side of the world avaryaya cha who is 
within the world both are rudras nama paryaya cha varyaya cha for spiritual knowledge parya will help you for worldly comfort avarya will help you then the 14th mantra is nama pratarana ayacho uttarana ayacha pratarana uttarana and both the words the common syllable is uttarana tarana means then who helps you to cross let us the first first word pratarana ayacha pratarana who is pratarana prakrishta mantra adirupena papa tarana hetu so we have taken the birth because there is papa ar naturally papa is more so how to get rid of that papa mantra japa adi rupena rudra is available to you in the form of mantras you chant those mantras like rudra jaya he will he will make you cross all the papas sins so pratarana means mantra or mantra japa this help you which helps you cross the ocean of sins so that rudra is called pratarana pratarana means the rudra who stays in the form of a mantra or mantra japa and helps you to cross over the oceans or rivers of sins pratarana ayacha so if you cross the sins of the oceans of sin then there there will not be any any sorrow or difficulty to or because sorrow and difficulty are the causes of papa sin if there is no sin there is no grief or sorrow to you there is no discomfort to you you are comfortable so the now let us salute pratarana pratarana rudra uttarana ayacha the second word is uttarana uttu tattva jnano padeshena samsara pankat uddharaka this samsara is a wetland and you are sinking in this world and you need someone to to lift you up who is going to give you the lift rudra will do that uttaranaya cha ut upari he lifts you up from the worldly marshland where you are sinking he will lift you uttaranaya cha how he will lift you he will he will send his gnana to you he will send his knowledge spiritual knowledge to you with the knowledge he will pull you up 
उत्तरण आय सो यू वॉन्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड देन यू प्रे यू मेडिटेट अपॉन रुद्रा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ उत्तर नम प्रतरणाय चोत्तरणाय चेन द फिफ्टीन मंत्र इज नम आताय चाध्याय चाताय नम आलाध्याय नम आताय मीन संसारोत्तरण ज्ञाने सत्य काम्य कर्माष्ठान संसारे पुनरागमन आता सी ग्रेट सेज ऋषि बै वर्चु ऑफ हिज थपस हि हाज अटेड द लिबरेश हि हाज बिकम दि परब्रह्म even after attaining the brahma gnana sometimes he may want to live in the physical world and perform the yajna dana and other dharmic deeds such a person is called आतार्य अवतीर्ण अवतार एक्चुअली द रुद्र और विष्णु और द अदर गॉड्स दे आर इन दे आर लिविंग कंफर्टेबली इन देर रेस्पेक्टिव प्लेसेस वाई शुड दे कम ऑन टू द अर्थ टेक बर्थ हियर एंड सफर ऑल दी ऑल दी डिफिकल्टीज and kill the rakshasas it's for the sake of the dharmic people who are the followers of the similarly the persons who have come down they are in a in an elevated position they have attained brahma gnana they are comfortable they are enjoying but sometimes because of their kindness they want to help us they come down and perform dharma yajjad acharate shreshtha and seeing that we also perform dharma then we attain some some merit punya so with a view to help us such elevated souls come down onto the earth such souls maybe it is great sages our own bhagwan sri sachi sai baba for his sake he doesn't need anything but he has come over here he stayed amongst us why only to help us similarly there are some siddha purushas avatar purushas sadhus sants there are all the manifestations of rudra nama atarya ayacha आतार्य सो लेट एस सल्यूट सच रुद्र एंड ही इज द गिवर ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कंफर्ट्स टू अस काम्य फलप्रद एंड दो संतोष जो संतोष एंड साधु पुरुषास इफ दे गिव ए बोन they bless you 
that will definitely happen and we have seen so many examples at the feet of bhagwan sri sach sai baba and other shirdi sai baba or such great people ramakrishna paramahamsa vivekan and if you get a blessing it is a good nama atarya ayacha so rudra is in all of them let us salute aladya ayacha alam sampurnam karma phalam atiti aladah jiva alada means the jiva who performs the karma good or bad and enjoys its fruits good or bad he is called aladah alam sampurnam karma phalam atti one who enjoys the karma phala is called aladah and the person who inspires him is called aladya rudra is aladya he is the inspirer of the jivas all the creatures for good or bad that depends upon the karma and thought process of the jiva prarabdha accordingly rudra uh, uh, inspires the jiva and if the jiva doesn't have any control on his mind then he always goes towards adharm like the pani flows downwards if you pray rudra rudra will inspire you to perform dharmic works dharmic deeds dharma karma aacharan thus he will protect you aatarya ayacha aladya ayacha aladya means the inspirer o inspirer rudra aladya i salute you please inspire me towards good deeds dharmic deeds dharma karma lead me towards dharma karma nama aatarya ayacha ladya ayacha thus we finish the 15th mantra the next 16th mantra is nama shashpyaya cha phenyaya cha shashpa means the green leaf or the grass reed or e e d or e e d reed is called shashpa which is green in color nama shashpyaya cha and rudra is there it is to say that the thing which you think negligible is not so it is not negligible it is rudra it will help you sometimes when you sit in your office a small pin will help you you need a pen you need a pin or you need a pen that will help you even a reed of grass that will help you kaka asura katha mapi there is an episode in ramayana rama was lying in the lap of sita and he was sleeping he was taking rest 
then a rakshas asura some people say that it is jayanta the son of indra he came in the shape of a crow and uh, tried to pierce the chest of sita then uh, sita thought and if i awaken rama his sleep is disturbed i should not do that and immediately she took a reed of grass by her side huh and used it as brahmastra so there the reed of a small piece of grass has come for rescue of sita now mashesh piya cha even the smallest thing even the thing which you think that is the most negligible thing will be useful to you because there is rudra he will help you ta mashesh piya cha and then phe niya cha earlier several things related to the rivers water uh, river banks oceans all that was covered here the remaining thing is referred to what is remaining the foam foam is fena the fena of veda has become foam in english fenaya cha rudra is in the form of fena the foam it is also useful with this regard there is an episode in veda itself इंद्रो वृत्र वज्रम प्राहरत वृत्री स्ट्रांग डेम इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टू इंद्र इवन इंद्र कुड नॉट किल हिम अल्टिमेट यू मेड ए पैक्ट विथ हिम यू कैम टू एन एग्रीमेंट that no one should harm each other no one should kill each other indra and vritra if at all one wants to kill the other the time should not be day or night the weapon should not be liquid or solid thus they put several conditions and came into an agreement indra quite clever quite cleverly studying the who loop holes in the agreement and an evening when the sunset took place and the moon did not rise the stars did not rise at that place at that time on the bank of the ocean he took the forms and used it as vajrayuda beheaded vrtas with the foam now the foam was used by indra as vajrayuda so there is nothing in the creation which is not useful sarvam rudramaya 
नम शेष्ट्याय चुद्र ई सैल्यूट यू इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ शेष्प एंड फे नमस्त्याय च प्रवाह्याय च इज दि लास्ट एंड सेवेंटीन मंत्र सिकत्य सिकत मीन दि सैंड and the creatures lying under it lay underneath and that entire world of sand is nothing but rudra rudra i say you pravahya yacha in the flow of water there is rudra he is called pravahya the rudra who resides in the flowing water o rudra please accept my namaskar and bless me thus we we'll come to the end of the eighth anuvaka of rudra jaya that contains 17 matras नम सोमाय च रुद्रा च नमस्ताय चारुणा च नम शंगा च पशुपत च नम उग्रा च भीमा च नमो अग्रे वधा च दूरे वधा च नमो हंत्रे च हनीयसे च नमो वृक्षेभ्यो हरिकेशेभ्यो नमस्ताय नम शंभवे च मयो भवे च नम शंकराय च मयस्क च नम शिवाय च शिवतराय च नमस्तीर्थ्याय चूल्याय च नम पार्याय च भार्याय च नम प्रतरणा चोत्तरणा च नम आताय च लाध्याय च नम शिष्ट्याय चेन्याय च नम शिक्याय च प्रवाह्याय च हरि ओ ओम श्री साई राम लविंग प्रणाम्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ अवर डियर लॉर्ड साई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ दिस डिवाइन सत्संग एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ श्री सत्य साई संयुक्त श्रुति श्रेणी ऑफ श्री सत्य साई सेवा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिया i humbly express our heartfelt gratitude to professor dr sharma garu for explaining to us the word to word meaning with inner significance on the eighth anuvaka of sri rudra adhyaya now with the kind permission of professor dr sharma garu i will provide a brief summary of his eloquent lecture the eighth anuvaka of sri rudra adhyaya consists of 17 mantras the first mantra is namasomaya cha rudraya cha this mantra signifies uma sakita parameshwara somaha in fact represents the inseparable aspect of prakriti and purusha uma is verily the source of energy of lord parameshwara here professor sharma garu narrated the episode of mother parvati serving lord parameshwara who when he was in penance in himalayas on the suggestion of her father himavan and thereby getting the name uma the rudra refers to the demolishing power that can bestow both joy and sorrow but all this is done for the good the second mantra is namastamraya cha arunaya cha this mantra salutes rudra who is verily 
the copper and red colored visible dt in the form of sun the third mantra namashangaya cha pashupateye cha refers to rudra as the one who grants all the humanity entire humanity the happiness pashupataye cha to this mantra one salutes rudra who is verily the protector and the controller of the entire creation the fourth mantra is nama ugraya cha bhima cha this mantra refers to rudra as that energy which angrily condemns adharma and bhima refers to the power of rudra to create fear of sin by his mere presence the fifth mantra is namo agre vadhaya cha dure vadhaya cha this mantra explain to us explains to us that rudra is ever vigilant in entire creation and is the first alerter or the killer of the bad tendencies at the very moment they arise in us he is powerful to shoot it out from any distance here professor sharma garu took us to bhagavad gita and also to the drona parva and explained to us on how arjuna could see the blissful form of lord shiva moving ahead of him in the battle of kurukshetra and killing the kaurava army signifying the agre vadhaya cha nature of sri rudra the sixth mantra nama anthraya cha haniya secha refers to rudra as the energy that selectively eliminates either individuals or groups as per the kala chakra dharma the next mantra salutes rudra as the energy which tears open the earth and stands erect as trees and also as the energy in the form of benevolent green foliage foliage covering the tree tops the green leaves the eighth mantra is namaha taraya taraha refers to stars but it's not just stars it also refers to pranavanada omkara which is both the source of entire creation and into which the creation is dissolved parameshwara arudra is both adi and anta the ninth mantra is nama shambhave cha mayo bhave cha this mantra salutes rudra who bestows us with the comforts both in the physical and the mental worlds the iha para sukha dayaka nature and the moksha pradayaka nature of lord shiva is saluted in the 10th mantra namaha shankaraya cha mayaskaraya cha the purity the total purity and the power to purify one and all is saluted in the 11th mantra namaha shivaya cha shivataraya cha the 12th mantra reminds us that rudra is present in all pilgrim centers which are constantly being energized by the holy chants and the holy deeds and shiva also resides on the banks of holy rivers where penance is constantly observed by sages and saints 
the thirteenth mantra is Namaha Paryayacha Varyayacha. And here Sri Rudra is saluted as the energy present on, on the either sides of river. He is also present on the upstream and the downstream of the flow. It refers, it also refers to Shiva as the bestower of spiritual and worldly joy. The 14th mantra salutes Rudra who helps us to cross the ocean of sin and who lifts us out of the sinking marshy wetlands through spiritual knowledge. The descent of the avatar for dharma rakshana and dusta sikshana is neatly brought out by the 15th mantra. The 16th mantra is Namashashpyayacha Fenyayacha. Here, Sri Rudra is saluted as green leaf, the energy in the green leaf, and the power in the green reed, and also as the foam found on the ocean floors, on the ocean beds. Here, Sri Sadmagaru reminded us on the episode of how Mother Sita, when Lord Rama was lying on her lap and sleeping, used a green reed to shoo away the crow when the crow attempted to disturb Lord Rama's sleep. Professor Sarmagaro also reminded us on another episode related to Vritras Ravada carried out by Indra using foam to as the weapon to show that Rudra is the energy in that foam used by Indra to for Vritras Ravada. The 17th mantra salutes Lord Shiva as the sand and also as all the Jivarasis or creatures under sand. It salutes Rudra as the energy in the flowing water. Thus, through the eighth Anuvaka uh, of Sri Rudra Dhyaya, Sri Sarmagaru explained to us on how the omniscient, omnipresent and omnipotent Sri Rudra is always in and around us at all times. Once again, I express our heartfelt gratitudes to Professor Dr. Sarmagaru for such a wonderful message from the 8th Anuvaka of Rudra Dhyaya and sincerely pray to our Dear Lord Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba Varu to bless Professor Sarmagaru and his family. Jai Sai Ram. Om Jai Jagadish Hari Swami Sati Sai Hari Bhakt Jana Samrakshaka Bhakt Jana Samrakshaka Pati Maheshwara Om Jai Jagadish Hari Shashi Vadana Shri Dara Sarva Pranapati Swami Sarva Pranapati Ashrita Jagannatha, Nagi Dash, 
जय 